Just a few days earlier on Palm Sunday, Jesus had been hailed as King. Through his life, there had been times when Jesus deliberately withdrew himself to quiet places. There'd been occasions when the people would have made him king, but their plans had been thwarted by Jesus himself. But eventually it was his time. The Jewish high priest had passed an edict commanding that information be given as to Jesus' whereabouts. Nevertheless, with unsurpassed courage, Jesus rode publicly into Jerusalem on a borrowed donkey. Because Jesus was to die for the sins of the world, everything had to be done in full view. Publicly he preached, knowing that in a few days he would be publicly brought to trial and of course he would then be publicly taken to the cross and crucified. After a few hectic days of preaching and activity in Jerusalem, Jesus was betrayed by one of his disciples. Judas loved money and sold Jesus for the price of a slave, just 30 pieces of silver. Jesus was arrested in a place that Judas knew Jesus often went to pray alone. Judas prearranged the sign to identify and betray Jesus. A kiss. Deep remorse later overtook Judas, who threw back the silver and hanged himself. He never witnessed what Jesus was born to do and what had been planned in eternity before the foundation of the world. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man, you were here before the world. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what
Jesus, you suffered greatly for our benefit. You walked the hard road through shame, betrayal, persecution, rejection. Yet you only desired good things for us. You came in glory to save us and redeem us from our sins. You came to offer us light and life a hope in you that surpasses anything the world can offer. So why do we too often turn our backs? Why do we give in to questions and disbelief when the road gets hard? Why do we look for easier paths to follow? Lord, lead me in your way encouraging me to persevere on the hard days, remembering the great hope I have in you. Amen.